Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a last numerical based on direct form 1 and direct form 2, a problem number 3. As I told you the first three numericals based on DF1 and DF2, the next three on cascade and parallel. So please listen this question carefully. Now we'll move on to question first. Well, the question is draw direct form 1 and 2 of IR filter structure. The question is h of z is 3 plus 4z upon z minus 0.5 minus 2 upon z minus 0.25. Now, in last two numericals, the question is a differential equation. But here, or h of z is already given. But basically, in df1 and df2, what we want in transfer function, we want a single numerator and single denominator. Here we have a different parts. So just how to make a single numerator and single denominator. Just do the cross multiplication so that you will get the single numerator and single denominator. And just compare all the coefficients of z. But here the z value is in normal z. What we want? Negative power of z. Here we have a positive power. So simply first of all multiply all the z and then take highest power of z which is in denominator. Just take the common. Now we will want in solution first of all we are going to cross multiply all the denominators with the numerator first. Now look at here what we have h of z is 3 plus 4z upon z minus 0.5 minus 2 upon z minus 0.25. So first of all I will just cross multiply these two values and later on I will multiply whole denominator with the 3. Or else you can do the shortcut also because look at here if we come cross multiply these two denominator then z minus 0.25 multiplied with 4z and z minus 0.5 multiplied with 2 and in denominator both this part will multiply with each other and at the end when we are going to multiply or cross multiply this whole denominator with a 3 then you can say that in the denominator of 3 we have 1 that 1 will be multiplied with all the product terms which is present on numerator per side and this product of z minus 0.5 and z minus 0.25 multiplied with the 3. So I am doing the shortcut one. So next step just do the multiplication. Now z minus 0.5 and z minus 0.25 what will be the result look at here basically these two are the factors so we know that if any equation is given and if you want to calculate the factors then as I told you the last term of that equation is always product of two digits now in equation the last term is always product of two digit and these two are the terms which are going to be multiplied. Now, mid term that is z to the power 1 coefficient is always addition of similar two digits. Means what? These two values going to be added. And the next one is z square. So, I am doing the just simple multiplication. So, the first term was z square. The next one is simply addition of 0.5 and 0.25. Answer is 0.75 into z. Now, the last one is product of the two digits. Now, 0.25 into 0.5. What is the result? Answer is 0.125. Now, multiply this 4z with this z minus 0.25. 4z square and the 4 into 0.25. Answer is 1. So, you will get only z. Now, next. Here, just multiply 2 inside this bracket now look at here here we have a minus sign so when we multiply minus 2 with inside this bracket then minus 2 into z is minus 2z but minus and minus will give us plus and 2 into 0.5 answer is 1 
Now, we have already multiplied z minus 0.5 and z minus 0.25 and the result that you have got which is mentioned over here. The same product term you have to write it in denominator. Now, solve this numerator part. After multiplying 3 inside this bracket, we have got this result. Now, what is the next step? Just add all the coefficients of z square, z to the power 1 and z to the power 0. So, by just adding all the coefficients of z square, z to the power 1 and z to the power 0, I have got this equation. Now, what is the next step? As I told you, what we want, we want power of z, but that power is always negative. So just take z square common from numerator and denominator. So if I take z square common from numerator, then look at here. Here you will have only a 7. Next one, here we have only a z. So this 5.25 multiplied with z inverse. Next, here we don't have any z. So 1.375 will be divided by z square. And that can be written as or you can write this value as z to the power minus 2 also. Now look at here in denominator if I take z square common then the first value is always 1. Here we have a z so the result will be z to the power minus 1 and the last one 0.125 multiplied with z to the power minus 2. Now the next one, just compare this h of z value with the standard form of transfer function. So look at here, we are going to compare both this equation, simply what you are going to do? We are going to compare all the z powers or powers of z from numerators of both the sides and from denominator of both the sides. So after comparing numerators of both the sides, what you will get? Our b0 value is 7, my b1 value is minus 5.25. my b2 value is 1.375 now last one here this is my a1 value and next one is my a2 value and it is my a1 is minus 0.75 and my a2 is 0.125 now what is the next step if you know the direct form 1 and direct form 2 structure then just draw that diagram and simply just put this all the coefficients value on that structure so this is our df1 structure now look at here just go through the numerator part in numerator what we have 7 plus minus 5.25 z inverse plus 1.375 z to the power minus 2 in numerator we have lowest power of z which is minus 2 which means here we are going to add two delays so the first one is z to the power minus 1, another one is z to the power minus 1. Now the first buffer gives us the value of b0 and here the b0 value is 7. So just place that value inside that buffer. Now my b2 value is minus 5.25. So as I told you if you want then you can write that value inside this buffer or else. Right now I don't have any space so you can write it like this also. Then also it's fine. Now the last one b2 it is 1.375. Now move on to next. Here we are going to write the values of all the a's or a coefficient. But remember one thing all the a value will be multiplied with the minus sign. So the sign of all the constants will be changed. So here we have minus 0.75. So result is plus 0.75. Here we have plus 0.125 the result is 
minus 0.125. So this is all about a DF1 structure. Now we'll move on to DF2. Remember one thing in DF2 memory elements that is Z inverse gets reduced by just taking common. Now this is the DF2 structure. Now what we are going to do we are going to simply place the all the coefficients value in this diagram. Now listen in DF1 all the B coefficient values always mention or represent on left hand side whereas all the coefficients of A or A coefficient always mentioned on right hand side but in case of DF2 the process is reversed. All the A values or the coefficient values mentioned on left hand side whereas all the B constant values are written on right hand side. So look at here my A value is minus 0.75 and another one is 0.25 and we know that always multiply minus sign with all the coefficients so minus into minus this term will be plus 0.75 now next here the value is plus so we will multiply it by minus sign and you will get minus 0.125 here all the B values will be written in serially manner so first value is B0 and it is 7. Next value of B1 which is minus 5.25. And the last one is B2 which is 1.375. So this is all about DF2 structure. Now remember one thing. In the next three numericals we will always use a DF2 structure in cascade as well as in parallel format. So if you know the df2 structure then you can easily plot the graph or structure for cascade as well as parallel so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda for further more videos thank you so much